Nannyville Sheldon, if you want subscriber, yeah man, Nannyville double murder, possible link to reputed Mountain View Dan death. Then that's where Mountain View Dan, you know. And they must say, boy, a shooting was going in a Nannyville recently. The police are theorizing that it must link to the death of Mountain View Dan. Saying, and a two people get murdered in Nannyville. You understand me, I say? So right now, the place turn upside down. Viewers and subscriber. Yes, man. Breaking news. Nannyville, Sheldon, double murder. The whole place caught enough. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. uh things, they have to make a statement. If I know bag things, TV, it no make sense. A bag things, TV, I run things all the time. Bag of things, the FM make a statement. If I know bag of things, TV, it don't make sense. A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time. Oh, Tom. Bag of things, TV. Media TV. Viewers are sub. Kingston, Jamaica. A double murder in Nannyville, St. Andrew, on Monday. May have been a reprisal for the killing of an alleged done on Mountain View Avenue more than a week earlier. Seen? Information reaching observer online is that at least one of the men killed in the double murder was said to be involved in the June 11, 2024 killing of 34-year-old Kemar Williams, otherwise called Dangles from Chavez Avenue, Kingston 13. Saying, you never see smoke without fire and you never see fire without smoke. See there, the police are mechanic in that right there so. You understand? Mountain View done get dash right now. And the man them said this recent Nannyville murder, double murder, it look like some boy, it linked to this. That the cops they were saying. Williams was shot dead while driving in a vehicle on Mountain View Avenue. Reports were at about 2.05 p.m. He was heading along the roadway when he was pounced upon by two men traveling on a motorcycle. Who opened fire hitting him several times? Yo, me I just say man, they open the clip on him, you know. That is the mountain view down, you know. Yeah, man, the boy them was on the bike waiting for him long, long time. The boy them a time pedal him, and I say, yo, when they? Maybe you know when you see it, so you know information are running, you know. A man say, yo, I just send them one. Rrr. Phone call me, can you understand? Bag of communication are gone. And the killers them now they on the bike and wait for him until he make a move. Then go to pre him out for a long time and see the boy. Certain time idea as them the move they make. You see me I say? So easily the man then go feed and go near me in food. But you know a place run again, say information I go travel, you know. Information is gonna be on the streets. And the streets can talk. Members say the streets have ears and the streets have mouth. The people always talk things. Yeah, you hear things from the streets, you have to take it to the grain of salt still. But the streets can talk. And when the streets say certain things, if it's not the exact thing, it's probably close to it. A certain thing. You understand? Even though the police investigation is different from the streets, you know. You understand? I mean, I say, them try not to make it a bit of a word of mouth. Because when people say things, it can be wrong. So the police them are use leads, they're using evidence. They're using some incident to them say go on and I put them together and I say, alright, two plus two equals four. You understand what I mean? I say, alright, you are going now. I could jump in like car. Now I'm going to some info upon the whole thing, you know. I couldn't know what I go on, you know. Saying 13 days later, two men, 34 year old, they are pink of Grand Ridge Path and 25 years old, Stefan Wallace of Abengway. Both in Nannyville were shot dead. And another man, another man got injured at the crime scene. Viewers are sub going attacking a man. It was reported that about 9.30 p.m. Residents heard load explosion and summoned the police them. Upon their arrival, both men were seen with gunshot wounds to the upper body. They were assisted to the hospital where Pink and Wallace were pronounced dead. The other man was admitted for treatment. Him lucky. Boy, me I tell us that the man if you go in a church. If you go in a church right away and give him life to God car. 
God did in him pocket make him lucky some man. Here we are going now. The police told Observer Online they are looking at several leads in the double murder, including that the men may have been killed as a reprisal for William's death. So I will put leads, you know. The police must check various leads and motives in this case, you know. Seeing so on a one-way stream, the information or the investigation is going right now. The police them look from different angles. They are looking through different uh, binoculars to find a war going on. If you was a sub. Now watch what going on you now. It's a crime scene. Yeah? And the police them a check out a burnt body in a car. You know? Yeah man. Burnt body in a car found in a place called Appleton Estate Road in Black River. Where a car was found burnt with body in there. See? So the people them now I say, well, now all the government has said crime is under control. And right now, the people them in the Black River are concerned, you know. They are saying they don't believe the government that crime is under control. Because all oh, so much people are dead. That's the question they are asking, you know. See? They are asking the question why so many Jamaicans are dying. And the Minister of National Security. I said, boy, crime is under control. Yes, man. So the people in my Black River said, no, nah, man. If crime is under control and people are dead, so. Can you imagine if it wasn't under control? That the people they must say, John no Star. Curtis Ward, carnage in the streets and the government response. People ask questions. It's hard for me or any well thinking Jamaican to believe the Minister of National Security or the Commissioner of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, that crime is under control or that there is a reduction in crime. The open, repeated, positive statement which border on self-praise about progress in dealing with crime belie the fact about the intractable crime problem facing the country. One merely has to watch and listen to the local evening news, television or radio or read any of the daily newspaper and one can help but question the veracity of our government on the issue of crime, safety and security. What the people must say, they don't believe what I go on. They don't believe what the government has said. The government is saying that crime is reducing. The government is saying that crime is under control. And people, I see people get killed and are burned up in a car. And they are coming against the government right now. I say we need answers. We need a solution to the crime problem in Jamaica. The people, the citizens that are coming out for the government, you know, man. Citizens say, yo, you know, something has to be done immediately, especially in a Black River. Kalupa, Black River, St. Elizabeth, the all them places, Chilani, Falmouth, Lucy, all these places are bad places, you know. Bad man places. See? John no star. When a member still the like button, give me some like on a wanna. Do so, do so, do so, do so, do so. On the like button, quicker and fast, everybody. Like and share, same way. See? A pass we a pass through, man. If you go on some info, I could know what I go on the street still. You don't know some I'll touch what base we don't know see away. You know. Alright, so very good. A bag of things media, man. Up and running, like bag and share. Bag of things media up, up, TV, up, 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 man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal out.